G'day, John. Um, I'll Mate. kick off. Um, uh, your first week in, since the uh, competition started to get a, a week off. How important has it been for you guys to kind of take a breath, do some evaluation, and I guess hopefully get some work in as well? Yeah, all of that. Um, you yeah, know, absolutely. Uh, it does... Um, you know, it has been a pretty intense um, six, seven weeks that we've been with the group. So, yeah, so just uh, like I say, we're still getting some work in and, um, you know, still trying to um, work hard on our game, obviously. Um, but also knowing that, you know, there's a little bit of time off at the end of this week um, just to, just like I say, catch a breath. And just in terms of, I guess, especially these last two outings um which have been both defeats you know what what's been the big for you what's been the big takeaway you know what what do you feel you you know that the team can learn the most from from these two defeats oh it's a mixture of things really um you know if i look at um the week building up to the argentina game um from a physical point of view we were um, we were right where we needed to be. We were our sessions were sharp. We were we trained really really well. Uh, we had great clarity, and anything we everything we did. But you know the game unfolded quite differently. You know we um, you know we got met with a a, a pretty solid wall, and um, we struggled to to break that down. So that's been our our big focus this week. Um, just how we are going to break that wall down. G'day John, Elliot at News Talk uh, ZB. It's been a few days since we obviously talked to the team. I think when we last spoke to, to Fozzie and Sam on um, Sunday, you hadn't done the review. How, how tough, how brutal was that um, that review when you completed it? Yeah, it was like uh, all the reviews that we've had, um, you know, a lot of honesty, um, showing, uh, trying to show, you know, clear pictures uh, to the boys, um, you know, and obviously... You know, from there on, just going about finding solutions. You know, and um, I think that's that's pretty pretty much the main thing. But um, you know, the, this team is uh, very honest. The players, the leaders, uh, everyone's you know, everyone's obviously I don't know, hurting you as you can imagine. Uh, but we are really keen just to go out and fix um, what we need to do so that we can uh, we can finish on a real positive note. John, is there a point where you have to tell the players to sort of park that or, or leave that disappointment behind and, and move forward, or do you need that to still be part of it, the, the, the disappointment uh, heading into that next game? No, the, 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 there'll be there's, there's disappointment, but I mean, you do have, you're right. You, we have to move forward and we have to find solutions, and um, and that, and that's our game, isn't it? You know, uh, we can't. We can't let that burden of, of disappointment hang over us like a like a black cloud. Otherwise, you know we're really going to struggle over here. You know we've got a week off and uh, we've got uh, we are a family over here. We're one big family. Um, there's no uh, families visiting. Um, you know personal families obviously. So there's nothing nothing like that. So we have to really stick tight as a group. And we're we're seeing that amongst the boys. There's um, you know a lot of uh, a lot of love here showing. From all the boys, uh, they're connecting and and working really hard to to uh, to make sure that you know no one's feels um, isolated, um, and uh, and that's been that's been a big focus for you know obviously good guys like Artie, our leaders in this group. Artie, can you just talk about the role that you've played in that and connecting with with uh, the whole group and, and keeping things you know on on the straight and narrow heading to this last game? Yeah, um, just touching on what Plum said. Um, obviously, there's you know disappointment um, over the last couple of weeks, um, but yeah, this week obviously we get to refresh in and obviously look at ourselves individually and collectively as a team, um, but also switching off, and that's one of the um, important things um, we're finding. And yeah, man, I I'm a big fan of getting away from the game um, when I'm able to, and you know these guys that are playing cards, these guys um, that are got connection groups that are big on their faith and are connecting in the mornings and um, just just getting us in the right mental space um, spiritually and mentally um, so that we can just go on about our days and uh, when it's time to switch on on the field we're ready to go when it's time to switch off um, we can really switch off and um, and just enjoy ourselves um, so 
Um, yeah, so far it's been good. We had a big morning this morning. Um, I'm knackered, um, but yeah, just really looking forward to um, going for, going out for a coffee and, and um, connecting with the boys. I love a yarn and, and talk. Like Plum said, we don't have families here, so um, it's nice to connect with the boys and, and talk about how we're feeling and, and if we're down or if we're missing home. Um, it's awesome to have um, the brothers there um, that are going through similar things. Um, so, um, yeah, it's... It's been it's been good. It's been refreshing um, as well, um, but obviously still um, just putting that feeling of not disappointment, but just um, don't want to feel like that again. So um, yeah, just slowly building. John, when do you, um, sorry, Liam here, when hey, do you sort of, you know, this week I guess is about finding the balance, when do you sort of switch focus into full mode for um, for the Pumas? When do we do that this week? Is that your question? Yeah. When... Yeah, so uh, this week, you know, the, the bit of balance between on and off, and then when do you sort of switch into full test mode? Okay. Um, uh, so so the boys have had a big morning. Um uh, Tuesday was a, well obviously Monday was a pretty big day from a review perspective Tuesday was a pretty big day and uh, Wednesday they refreshed um, what is today? Thursday Thursday <laughs> Thursday um, and Thursday we had a big morning so the boys have just bus just got back so uh, yeah they got the, an afternoon free and tomorrow we'll freshen up Saturday we'll do a sort of game replacement type scenarios and then we'll freshen up Sunday and go into normal test week on Monday just from a physical point of view, what's, it, what's the squad like? Um, it was obviously a brutal test against Argentina. Um, physically, uh, how's the squad shaping up injury-wise and those sorts of things? Yeah, no, we're in, we're in pretty good shape right now. Um, I think everyone's, everyone's available um, that we've got here. So um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a, a pleasing thing. And will you watch the game on, on Saturday as, as a group? And do you think you'll learn anything more about... Argentina, you know, that was obviously their first game since the World Cup. How much more do you think you'll learn about them uh, this weekend? Oh, I think it'll be interesting to see if they can back up that effort that they put in against us. You know, I think that'll be, uh, we'll see similarities um, in what they do. Um, but uh, it'll be just interesting to see if they can back it up from uh, an emotional point of view. They were, um, you know, pretty physical. Um, you know, they worked really hard for. Um, right through that whole game, you know, they, they they didn't leave a lot of space out there, so they all were obviously working hard off the ball, and so it'll be good to see if they can uh, they back that up. Uh, Artie, um, Mark here. Um, hey, Mark. <laughs> you're a big, yeah, g'day, mate. You're a big proponent of mental health, as we see. You live live your message there um, through you know through week to week um how important i guess has it been for you guys to kind of support each other and i guess kind of balance that also with putting it all in perspective you play high performance sport now you are going to have your down moments sort of thing you know mm. can you just talk to that yeah mate um yeah real big on the well-being side um first and foremost just trying to get myself mentally right and and find things that um are good for me and when that happens, um, I get to shine that light and, and people and the brothers around me um, want to join and, and start having those conversations. Um, I think it's huge, mate. Um, obviously, you've mentioned, you know, we're in a high performance um, world and sport and, you know, and it's fair enough, you know, we get judged on our performance on winning or losing and, and that's just comes, that's just part of the game. And, um, and I think, um, Aside and the new generation that's coming through, I think are learning that we have to be mentally strong, um, have good support networks, if it's the brothers or families at home, um, falling back on them when things are, when times are tough. Um, you know, obviously the last week um, has been pretty tough and you know, we've got guys that are 20 years old, mate, um, 21, 22, that are dealing with the pressures of, obviously that comes with professional sport. And um, I remember, I can't remember when all of us were 20 and, if we could deal with that criticism, deal with that feedback, um, I don't know if I could, but um, we're just trying to create pillars, we're just trying to create that support network, create that brotherhood, that family feel, so that if there's anyone that's going through anything or getting 
you know, hateful comments or comments that really affect them that they can come to us and we can talk about it and and share, I guess, guys that have been through that and what how they've coped with it, um, which is huge. Um, I think it's something that's really um, underestimated in, in our sport and in our game at the moment is is that mental side and, the, and that pressure of dealing with it, especially with our young fellas that are coming through that kind of get that whole, whole lead, this is what it's like. Um, so yeah, we're still trying to figure it out, don't have all the answers, but um, yeah, at the moment I'm just, as a leader, just trying to lead in that space along with other leaders um, and just creating that feel where we feel comfortable and, and talking to each other and um, it's not all about footy. Um, if, we're, if we're okay off the field, then um, hopefully that can shine on the field. Cool, mate. Hey, just while I've got you there, can you enlighten us on Mouthgate Guard? Um, seemed to be a lot of attention on what you had in your mouth during games. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Mark. I actually bought it especially for you, my brother. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. There it is. And hey, it matches your shirt too. It does too. Hey. Uh, see, I, I knew we had a connection through the laptop. I'm thinking pink and you're wearing pink. <laughs> you can but, send them. No, nah, but it's, um, yeah, to be honest, it's um, probably my, uh, my fault and um, something that um, kind of I had to um, swallow and like a pill I had to swallow obviously being told a couple of years ago and then um, continuing not to wear one obviously not getting picked out on but um, it's a hard lesson um, that I've learnt and um, you know my wife talked to me about integrity and, 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 and following that so um, yeah it's been awesome to wear my mouth guard it actually fits really well I wore it on the weekend and um, yeah fits pretty perfect but um, yeah I understand the role I play obviously in being someone that's that a lot of people look up to um, and I've got to keep my integrity and, and, and follow that so um, yeah and Pick, you're going to look after your beautiful teeth too. yeah the, uh, <laughs> yeah my wife doesn't want to see me with no teeth so and she and my daughter picked the color so um, pink nice and bright um, but yeah I like it uh, well while we've got you can you enlighten us, on, enlighten us into what happened to the goggles ah uh, um, yeah yeah, so um, with the goggles, mate, uh, my eyes still, I had them checked after the World Cup and um, it's, so it's a scratch in the cornea, um, so it can't get any better, um, only can I'd either stay what it is or get worse, so um, with the goggles, um, yeah, it's quite hard to wear them, they kept fogging up in Japan and it was probably the, kind of the wrong time to test them because of the humidity over in Japan when we were playing last year so um, at the moment I'm not wearing anything at the moment um, just kind of put them aside and yeah and just playing without them Thanks Mark um, any last questions for Ari and Plum John just lastly from me um, uh, you know there's always a lot of um external pressure and noise um, when it comes to the All Blacks, but I guess how is important is it that you guys respond for your, yourselves in this last test as much as anything else? Yeah, no, it's massive, uh, and we all know that. I mean, it's, um, you know, we're this this test match coming up now is, um, means a lot, means a lot to, to, to everyone. You know, the boys have had a real difficult 20, 20 and um, we, uh, we, we just want to finish in a, in a, in a high, and... Um, you know, get back home um, to uh, to the families, mate. So yeah, it's a massive, uh, it's a massive, uh, what eight or nine days uh, ahead of us.